हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नो सर्ज एन यूट्यूब चैनल सो सिक्योरिटी बग हैज़ बिन फाउंड विच हैकर कैन गेट एक्सेस टू योर मेमोरी एंड बेसिकली इट इज रिगार्डिंग बायोस एंड एस यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन हियर वैन गॉट सिक्योरिटी अपडेट क्लोजिंग द प्री बुट कैप सो वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन योर पी सी टर्न्स ऑन इट रन्स अ पोस्ट चेक विच इज पावर ऑन सेल्फ चेक where your bios is not turned on it just like turning on it's checking whether your cpu your memory and everything else is there and the problem arise is at that point your pc is in like the most privileged state it has full unrestricted access to the entire system and all connected hardware the system begins by loading and executing its initial firmware usually uefi which then starts a change of hardware and software security initialization only after all this are done we see the my computer and stuff like that but the problem is uh, during this moment the game developer of vanguard was able to figure out that most of the security updates were not initialized at this current point of time as it goes to through a sequence of checks first before initializing as you can see preboot dma protection is a security feature present in the bios firmware of many devices that leverages the system iommu to prevent rogue dma access to the system memory early on its boot sequence but sometimes it's not available and that's the security bug which has been found out and maybe as they are patching it as you can see most of the security like gigabyte asus and msi has providing it as security advisor for major and manufacturer as you can see they they had seen it and now they are working on it but yeah there's also patches available for asus and various other motherboards next up us hardware sales has reached a record tipping low of 35 years low as price soars and it is a whopping 27% decline which is substantial and as you can see it has been declining and maybe most of it is due to the memory shortage which is happening right at this current point of time and as you can see on year on year there is a change and video game hardware sales is top by minus 7% which is pretty substantial because video games are always the money makers in this segment and next up gamers and reviewers are calling amd to revive their ryzen 7 5800x 3d amid the shortage do not 5700 5800x 3d is still been produced and they were point, going to put it in ice sometime later down this year but the gamers and everyone else is saying like the Ryzen 5800X 3D is already more expensive than the 7800X 3D but everybody is saying like since it uses DDR4 which is not that it is still not that cheap but it is more cheaper compared to DDR5 so gamers are expecting AMD to not stop producing this Ryzen 5800X 3D but yeah let's see how things turns out but I will keep you updated regarding it Lastly for today AMD Zen 6 compiler support has been merged for GCC 16 and it is a pretty big thing because when the compiler support has been merged it just shows that Zen 6 is indeed going to be launching pretty soon and all the rumors are pointing towards CES so during CES we might see Zen 6 finally as AMD has officially confirmed their fresh next gen Zen 6 CPU details by merging first official zen 6 documentation and performance monitor control for the amd family ih model 5050 this model number has been spotted as you can see on the screen here this is the performance monitor counter for amd family and this just shows that they are already in way into works and now we are going to see the processor indeed very soon and it has been published december 12 2025 and lastly for today we got the code names for zen 8 and zen 9 zen 8 core is going to call penelope and zen 9 core is going to comes with nemesis called nemesis internally and comes from most low state we will not know many details regarding it because still it's in early development 
but yeah that's it for me today what do you think about the new sound of your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll meet you in the next one peace out